Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB foundation level sample paper discussions. We are in chapter one talking about some of the sample questions here to understand the best tips and tricks possible to crack the examinations better. To continue with our discussions, we are looking at the next question and that is question number seven. The question number seven is all about which of the following skills that is one to five are most important skills for a tester. This question is being taken from the last segment that is the essential skills and good practices of testing. And here we are talking about what is that which is important to be picked up right from there. So the elements are very straightforward. So we can just conclude right from there to pick up the right answer. Again, you should know the trick involved in picking up the right answers. That is when you have the context clearly identified in the question itself, you must have your answers already available before you can look at the options. Otherwise, sometimes the options would drive you a little crazy and you may be getting stuck with that. So let's look at the options here. So we have the first one having domain knowledge. I think domain knowledge is one of the critical aspect for a testing team, if you remember from the syllabus, because here that does not talk about any particular justifications. These are very straightforward elements which are taken from the skills of a tester. So domain knowledge, where the product belongs, plays a vital role for the test engineer to really understand how the product functions and what are the common defects which we can generally find. So domain knowledge is one of the key elements which we should include. Talking about the next one, that is create a product vision now, creating a product vision is something which is not so necessary and relevant for a tester because we don't really look forward to see how this product would go, uh, you know, in 360, how this product would probably be, uh, you know, used in the real world. However, we talk about use cases, but not is that what we mean, that how creating a vision of the system means what this looks like right because we do have an understanding of the design the architecture we know the requirements and we do understand how the system will be used by the users but not something that what would be the future of this tool how does the market would just you know respond to it these are not the things what we really look forward to so i would not consider the option two that is creating a vision for this particular product and then being a good team player is a very common attribute because uh Testers are required to work today and very closely pack team like when you talk about Agile and Scrum team, you do know that testers work very closely with the developers and they might be required to perform uh, many of the common activities as well or getting very involved in some of the development activities also by uh, conducting the code reviews or maybe getting their test cases shared and reviewed by the developers also. So yes, being a team player, that would play a vital role. And of course, for effective communication and collaboration, it is one of the key aspects. Additionally, if I talk about planning and organizing the work for the team, uh, planning and organizing the work for the team is considered to be a test manager responsibility. So I would not say that it is a skill of a tester, but however, this could be a very important skill if the tester already has it in terms of defining a better you know, layout. But if we see this technically and from the syllabus point of view, a test manager is someone who plans and organizes the work for the team, not a test engineer, because the question clearly says it is skills of a tester. And finally, the fifth one we have is critical thinking, which certainly uh, makes a lot of sense that a tester has to be innovative, self-organized, and have a critical thinking in terms of uh, presuming things that how exactly a user would tend to make use of this, where exactly the system can go fail, or what kind of ways by which we can try to predict the defects, uh, having creativity in terms of writing the test cases also. So everything gets added along with that particular aspect that is critical thinking. So putting it all together, I only think the right answer here is B, that is one, three, and five, which stands for having domain knowledge, being a good team player, and critical thinking as the right answer. So sometimes it's very crucial to really uh, judge with the options and come to the conclusion that what do you think is the right answer for that. So let's look at the next one here. And the next one we have is uh, to talk about the question number eight. So the question number eight is about how is the whole team approach present in the interactions between tester and the business representative? I think this type of question should be well addressed with the options because 
you don't know what kind of interactions you're talking about because in simple and nutshell we know that testers do collaborate with business representatives to basically collect information about the product and gain more and more insights about what the requirements are what does the user story mean they work together in terms of uh, writing collaborative user stories uh, writing acceptance criteria then testers do involve in reviewing the acceptance criteria and user story and they can always collaborate with uh, business representatives to get any set of information what they think is important for them to conduct testing on the product so there could be many such interactions possible so this type of question should be addressed best with the options and whenever you have to read the option to find out the answer make sure that you look forward to read every single word carefully okay without which this goes uh, pointless because sometimes the options will be very tricky and may take you on a merry-go-round and resulting into wrong option selected as the right answer okay so let's quickly check it out what options we have the option a says business representative decide on the test automation approaches not exactly because automation is something which is our day-to-day -day job and we are the people who define what strategy what approach we will be using in terms of automating the required amount of testing within the process and the project so it's not the business representative who defines the approach in particular to do the automation it's us who do that and that's not the way by which we interact with business representative b testers help business representatives to define test strategy again this is vice versa here uh, you may have business representatives contribution to testers to do the test strategy but it's not the business representative who writes the test strategy right and testers do not help business representative to write the strategy test strategies are work product and we write it so of course the testers will be directly responsible to determine the test strategy if you're working in an agile development model because we do say that in agile development there might not be any particular test manager identified but yet uh, there would be uh, you know uh, some of the responsibilities taken care by uh, the test engineer itself uh, without having the involvement of the test manager so that's not the right option c business representatives are not part of the whole team approach that's again wrong business representatives are part of the whole team approach because a team uh, basically comprises of the business analyst designers developers and uh, the tester of course with the business representative and the business representative has a direct contribution to each and everybody's work like designer developer and tester so yes they are the member of the team one way by contributing the uh, overall uh, contributions to make the product successful and finally we are left with option d testers help business representative to create suitable acceptance criteria or acceptance test in both the ways that would make more sense even if i say acceptance criteria or acceptance test it would make a lot of sense because yes given that being a tester you are the quality coaches in agile development model and as being quality coaches you can guide the business about understanding on how to write acceptance test because it's not necessary that the business or the business representative really know how to write test cases so testers can certainly help them draft good quality test cases for acceptance testing but it's not that we are writing the test cases we will only help them to write the test cases okay so put together the right answer here for this particular question is d that is testers help business representatives to create suitable acceptance test and that makes a lot of sense that how exactly testers interact with business representatives given on these following options so that's all from this particular tutorial team and that completes the chapter one we shall be looking forward to next chapter in our upcoming tutorial stay tuned for that should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understand the context Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.